girl Monique R back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button for your bell notifications to post. So we can just get right back in the video. So today's video, I'm opening my Amazon package that came to me yesterday. So it came yesterday and I was not able to open it, but of course my oldest daughter did. So it came in as of course the famous brown packaging with the Amazon Amazon Prime logo. So let's peek and see what we have in here. A uh, camera. Yay! So nice packaging too. So last week Thursday, I was on Amazon website looking for a camera to be able to vlog, take pictures, and post on my YouTube channel. So I was on the website and it was so many cameras that I saw that I liked, but I'm on a budget, so I had to choose a camera that suits for me, which is you know my budget. So actually, this camera is actually an early Christmas gift. Like I said, my husband he bought me um this camera last week because of I started my YouTube channel. So the package it came is white, really nice little white little box, little black logo, and a little bit of purple and green over here, which is cute. So let's peek inside to see how the camera looks. And like I said, Amazon has so many different cameras, so many you know different ones, but I chose this one. So inside the box, it came with a free um, one year warranty with a little barcode. It came with the manual. Okay, 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 okay. Come on now. It came with a little charger piece. And, the USB cord. and let me unravel it to see how long it is. Let me see. Okay. And it also came with, let me see. It's supposed to come with um two batteries. But out oh, it came with a battery. And I'm gonna open the battery so you guys can see the battery. And ta-da! Here's the camera. So this camera right here is a digital camera flip, which is so cool, so cute. It also came with a little um a belt to attach to it, but it's on the floor, so I ain't trying to pick it up. But this camera is actually a two. 0.730 um, MPs and it can do so much stuff. It's great for vlogging and guess what you guys? This camera was only under $100. Come on now. Like I said, if you are on a budget and you're looking to start up a YouTube channel, yes, we want to go with the big name brand um, cameras, but if you're on a budget like me, you can get a nice vlogging camera at Amazon for under a hundred dollars. So this camera zoom in, zoom out lens is a compact camera in this manual. So basically when I put the battery in, I charge it, I can be able to start my vlogging. And like I said, it comes with a little cord, the little um string, little holder, so you can be able to I can be able to go and vlog at the mall. I can be able to go vlog when I'm getting my nails done, full shop, and I don't really have to carry this this little cute little camera around. Oh my God, so cute. Oh, I see myself. This is so cute. So thank you, husband, for buying me this camera. Thank you for just, oh my God, this is so cute. I'm so excited, you guys, for this camera. I'm so excited. It's nice and black. I actually wanted it and was looking for like a little colorful camera, like silver or like a nice little rose gold, but unfortunately didn't have it. So everything about this camera is going to be down below in the description box. Like I said, I'm so super, super stoked to be starting vlogging probably on Friday, Lord's willing, uh, for Christmas. I really want to do a video on Friday. So now back to business so thank you so much you guys i'm at 274 subscribers i'm just so grateful for this week that we had you know today's wednesday and i've already you know my page is really taking off and i'm so grateful that you guys are receiving me and that's all i can even ask for now 
I wasn't gonna do like a little mukbang, but I am. So, introduced my new camera, and I also ordered me some chicken wings. Yes, I did. And an egg roll from the Chinese place. So, today I'm gonna just talk about, you know, life and just general stuff. Just checking in with you guys. So, today this morning was a good morning. I was able to um, get up this morning, worked out, and you guys... To be honest, my exercise journey is going pretty good. Shouldn't be in the chicken But what I, want, what I want to say is that it's a process. Me back working out, me eating healthy, it's really a process. Like I said in a video yesterday, I love food. Yeah, I'm, and that's the truth. I really do. But I'm trying to be able to. I think they're older, be healthier, and incorporate healthier dishes into my home. So, this morning, I did my treadmill for 20 minutes, had my waist trainer on from KK Curves, and guys, when I told you, it felt so good to be working out. My legs were sore from those 40 squats I did yesterday, but it felt so good to just be back and the routine of working out and really just getting back into a habit of getting up in the morning, working out, exercising, and stuff like that. So after I exercise, I woke the kids up. They all three of them was on a different schedule. One of my twins, he had to be in school at 8.30, and the other two, my oldest twin and my daughter, have to be in school by 9.30. Woke the kids up. They took their showers. Their clothes is already laid out the night before, even though they are in remote learning. Um, I still like for them to just get in the habit of taking their clothes out the night before, you know, coming to class on time, just being prepared. So, the chicken is good. They put just the right amount A barbecue sauce on the chicken. Usually, they're hit and miss. But today, they're on point. Come on now, listen. When you eating a good chicken wing, it's that first bite for me. But anyway, so they took their showers. I made them some breakfast. Um, my son signed in. He was in school. Then... I started to just do like little chores around the house that I needed to do certain things I needed to get done before I go shopping later on. I'd be going to the supermarket just to get some stuff that I need in my house. So, day in school, uh, I was able to go in, read my word, do some meditation, say my little affirmations for the day. Then my toddler woke up. She had got her showers and I made her breakfast. And then the day just flowed. Kids in school taught the toddler some stuff and continued to receive some more Amazon packages for the kids for Christmas from their grandmother, which is my mother. And I'm right here. It took a lot today to film this video because when I tell you, Right before, it seemed like right before I'm about to film a film, do a video, is the baby done pooped. Uh, the kids need help with something. So I'm really able, right now, one of them is still in class. The other two is out of school for the day. Uh, enjoying their little rest of the day. They so happy to be on break. So I get a free day, free time period right now to talk to you guys and just see what's, 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 what's up for today. Are we going shopping today, you guys? Or or have you guys finished you guys Christmas shopping? I know for me, I don't really do toys. I never did. Even when I had my twins, I never really did toys. I'm more of a, a clothes person and buying what I need. In a sense of, I buy you your clothes, your winter clothes, jackets, hats, and stuff like that. But as far as toys, I'm not. 
But I must say, this year is the only year that I have literally went out and bought the baby a doll or two. Cause like I said, I'm more into buying clothes, more into buying sneakers and footwear for them. Cause I said, to be honest, those those when you have kids, especially if they toddlers, they're not gonna really. Well, my daughter, she do. She love all her toys. But after a while, they get uninterested. So for me, buying clothes is something that they could wear for a little while longer. So I'm so happy. So most of my Christmas shopping is actually done. But for just today, later on, I just have to go to the market just to buy some stuff that I ran out, like water, juice. And, and you know the thing about it, I think the reason why I'm constantly running out of food is because my kids are home and they're eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they have two snacks in between. So I definitely have to hit the markets today. I hope it's not too crowded. Let me get my water. Like it was. And today, you guys, I'm drinking back my favorite water, which is not water. The cold water is okay, but... I prefer smart water. Mm. I was thirsty. Oh my gosh. I must have been so thirsty. So, I'm going to head to the market later on. Get some stuff. Grab some stuff that I need. Um, I'm really not cooking for Christmas this year. This will be the first year that I'm not cooking for Christmas. I cook so big for Thanksgiving that I just don't really want to cook for Christmas. But for New Year's Eve, I'm going to cook. So, comment down below what you guys think and what you guys are doing today. How you guys feel about the year coming into, uh, uh, the end of the year is coming to end <coughs> next week. Um, for me, I'm optimistic. I'm just waiting to see what 2021 has in store for me and my family and my brand. Um, like I said, this year has been so hectic for everybody. And it's like, I know you guys are looking for some type of relief. So, I'm excited. I'm looking forward. Like I was saying, so... I'm so optimistic for New Year's to come a new year. Uh, this is the first year that we will not be having service. We're going to do online. So that's pretty different for us. Like I said, I'm so stoked for this brand new venture. Mm, this is good for me and my life, for me and my family. And continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Get your girl to a thousand subscribers. Continue to like, comment, subscribe. Come on now, because at the end of the day, if you're not liking the subscribing, what are you doing? Peace out.